G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is an anti-armor handmade with 15% faster reload and 25% faster fire rate. That's like the rapid effect. So honestly, this is kind of like the anti-armor rapid handmade rifle, which is going to be an exceptionally powerful weapon for any stealth commando that is built properly. So at 50 damage, that is what we're getting out of the powerful auto receiver. No prime receiver is really needed on this, plus this thing does spit out bullets very, very quickly, as you'll see when we get to gameplay. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade this a little bit. And of course, we're going to be chucking on commando perks because it is a um, automatic rifle. So th uh, nine lots of commando ranks there and some bloody mess on the top of that to give us 92 damage, which we've seen before. Yes. All right. Winter versus stupid fucking sheep monster robot thing. Round two. This one, this one's not going to go so Where is good it? for you. Oh, geez, blew the crap out of that. It's literally over there, mate. Well, being crippled sucks. Can I do a stim pack, please? There we go. <laughs> and some... Oh, wait, no. It's a Colonel Gutsy. See? When I can actually do damage... Ah! Oh, you suck, Captain Noob. You can't do any damage. Fuck off. Get, get out of my fucking way. Jesus Christ. I could do this by myself. Come on. There we go. That's the sort of damage you want out of this. All right. Back to ya. Alright, now he's invincible again. You know what? These robots are really fucking annoying. I don't like them at all. Alright, it's vulnerable again. And we should be in hidden at this point. See, it just drains away your AP so fast. You can't really stealth commander with it at all. Is that a support vertebrate coming in? That's not as good as Savage, I'll tell you that much. See? When I can actually do damage to the fucking sheep squatch, it's fine. I don't want to hear any of this fucking get good shit. Although that person over there is using a Tesla rifle, which may or may not have caused the same bug to happen to me. Cop that, you fucking furry robot. Yeah. Let's hear you say get good this time, you fucking... No, let's not swear at the viewers this time. Let's just chill out. Okay, unfortunately, some fucking parasite has put up a, a thing near here, so we won't be able to get our sneaky approach on these super mutants like we thought. Uh, but that's okay, there'll, there'll be plenty of time for sneaky sneaky later, so we'll just get into some gameplay here before all of these turrets steal all of my kills. And look at the rate of fire on that, that's huge. That's kind of like what you'd get out of the rate of fire on a uh, handmade back in Fallout 4, actually. And right off the bat, I've noticed just how more... Or just how effective the reflex sights are in terms of keeping your, um, I'll take that nuclear waste by the way, uh, keeping your AP bar, um, you know, less not filled, I guess. It's good, it's very, very good for VAT efficiency there. These turrets have just aggroed these super mutants. I can't shoot those turrets because I'll get a wanted level, but I wish I could kill them with no consequences. Alright, so, so far, so good. As we get around the back, we'll be back into sneaky mode, but just to give you an idea of how this thing goes without it, then, uh, yeah, still pretty damn good. Okay, sneaky time is on, and as you can tell, that is devastating. Just a couple of shots around the chest and head area. We'll drop them very, very quickly. Don't really need to worry about aiming all too much when I've got Ground Pounder giving me such great hip fire. although zooming in with the reflex side is a nice way to um, deal with targets at sort of the more medium ranges. That's what I like about reflex sights. They actually give you a fairly decent amount of zoom compared to your iron sight. So there's a little bit more use to them rather than, you know, just using it at VAT. So I think it's like, there's no reason to use iron sights at all, really. Oh, sorry, this is Officer Winter. See, I'm role-playing role as a Wasteland Justice Bringer. Basically, if you annoy me, I shoot you on sight, and that's how the law works around here, because I make the damn law. You know why I make the law? It's because my goddamn handmade rifle is so goddamn powerful that no one can stand up to me. Not even these super mutants who can see me. Actually, we're having problems with stealth. Did they, they change something when they patched the game? They might have. They didn't tell us, but they might have had, like, a stealth patch about a... a a change to stealth. Weird. I don't like it when Bethesda do this because um, I'd like to know how my game is going to be affected by the changes. So them just, you know, 
changing stuff and not telling us about it really fucking annoys me. But regardless of that, we don't need stealth to go well with this thing. Stealth is just icing on the cake as we go back into caution here. Oh yeah, this thing's so good to use. So this is a thing that is probably going to be... I think the person who owns it, BLB um, Cats on Fire, that's the name. Um, she, she's she got this weapon, she's received many offers for it. I've had this for quite a bit, I feel kind of bad because I've waited so long to use it. But now I'm regretting it even more, seeing as this thing's the most powerful handmade I've probably ever used. Although, I bloodied, <laughs> a bloodied fire rate handmade, just, you know with all of that extra damage attached to it, would probably be even more devastating. But uh, we'll find, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I guess. There's a legendary there, by the way. No point on using vats on this thing. What was that, by the way? A bloodied hatchet. No, that's not what I got, game. Keep up. Alright, have we cleared out the fella in this room with his dog? We have now, that's for sure. Was that another person shooting at us, or was he just shooting at us from the dead? Oh wait, no, there's always a couple of dudes in here. The guy who's always sitting in the smoker room, back into it, and that means we're good to go with the hell room, which is this way, yes. Okay, well, if stealth isn't bugged, and this is how it's supposed to be, I think I might need to put a little bit more thought into my, into my sneaking now, which is alright. Because it was kind of brain dead. Yes, the stealth commando build was brain dead if you could just like get up and crouch and go back into caution again. Now you have to move around in the lower light areas, creepily, just creeping around doing all that. And oh, maybe I could drop ground pounder for tank killer for even more armor penetration. Now that's a thought. Because I've already got uh, speed demon for a bit more reload speed. But, you know, jamming mags into this as fast as I am, I don't think I want to give that up. Alright, looks like these Super Mutants are a lot more switched on than they were a couple of weeks back. Or yesterday, even. Did I play yesterday? Yes, I did. I was shooting an MG42 and nobody really noticed. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Alright, looks like we're on the hunt now. There goes one, and I saw the other just down here. He should probably be the last one. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, there's two of them in here, even. And still in caution, so they're still around somewhere. You know, despite them being more perceptive than they usually are, they're even dumber just for standing in the corner there. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna make the AI more perceptive, you can at least make them, you know, able to path out of rooms. We'll move on to something else. I want my reflex art, god damn it. Okay, now that I've got my reflex sight, I can actually see his health bar when I kill him. You don't get to scream when I've already killed you before you've even got up, Swan. I thought we've already been over this. You'd be under arrest if you weren't already dead. Alrighty, do we have some ghouls to arrest today? It looks like we do. Let's wake them up a little bit. Blow up all of their cars. Let's see if that aggroes them. Oh, we might have to just do this stealthily. I don't really mind doing that. Fine. So one of the things about this weapon, sure it's weapon card may not look too um, great, when you, especially when you've seen like the damage that a um, bloodied rifle can do, right? I've done a bloodied handmade and that did a whole lot more damage than this, but something you've got to take into effect or notice about that or just have in mind is that the rate of fire there can tell you a whole different story than just the, um, just the damage uh, number. And uh, saying that, like, think about the hunting rifle, right? Sure, it's got an impressive damage on it, but it's it fires so slowly that it's almost unusable in situations such as these. So, I think rate of fire is something that is rather overlooked when it comes to a weapon's performance. You'll note how the, uh, I think the 10mm submachine gun has a 
higher rate of fire than most automatic guns, which clock in at about, seven, about 75. And as a result, that thing has really, really good DPS. You'll just be using your precious 10mm bullets. Where the fuck are you going, mate? Come back here. Yes, yeah, so you'll just be using your rather precious 10mm bullets to feed that thing, because you will get through them very, very quickly, um, especially when you compare it to something like an automatic 10mm, be because I think that one is capped at 75 too, unless you have a fire rate effect onto it. But as you can tell, no problem against these ghouls. We're using this with stealth, so we'll have even less problems than usual, but I guarantee you, if they were all charging through that one... Um, Speaking of 10mm pistols or submachine guns, if they were charging through that one choke point there, I could easily hold them back and then quickly retreat to slam another mag in if need be. But yep, this thing is absolutely devastating. All of these ghouls were under arrest, but now, now justice has been served. There's no ghoul jail, so we have to kill them on sight. So when it comes to anti-armor weapons in this game, I think the majority of people like to see the anti-armor effect with the uh, explosive, but I reckon the anti-armor fire rate is a lot better, and that's because you do actually get noticeably more damage when especially you can penetrate armor with it. See Tank Killer if you don't want to be a super quick stealth commando. Okay, looks like they didn't see us, despite us being in broad daylight, so maybe the stealth was bugged there. I don't really know. I haven't really played this game enough to make that judgment yet. Okay, so we had a call, triple zero or 911, I guess, because we're playing in America, about a terrifying crab monster herding all of the townsfolk. That's a town, by the way, and it looks bad, but uh, the, the queen has been brought to justice. Um, yeah. The cops out there doing well. Officer Winter gets herself a good old promotion, I suppose, out of that. From who? I don't know. Maybe there's like a Mr. Gutsy police commissioner. Now, obviously, with a uh, fire rate prefix, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There's a couple of drawbacks to it, but that's mainly because of um, just how good it is. And the reason, or the reasons there are drawbacks, or I'll, get, I'll get to them. Hang on, I killed the Scorch Beast too quick. Um, the drawbacks, obviously one of them is going to be the condition, because if you're going to be firing a lot more bullets, you're going to use up a lot more condition, but again, it won't, it'll just mean your time to kill is less, so you'll still use the same amount of bullets, but you'll probably find that you use a lot more of them, especially if you're trigger happy, so you know, using trigger discipline is a good idea, but firing more bullets at this thing means it will degrade quicker, and also it'll put more of a strain on your ammo resources, so if you find yourself a very trigger happy person, then this will probably not be as good, but you know, train yourself to burst fire, fire when only you're aiming at targets and don't spam the weapon for no particular reason, then I think this thing will reward you very, very well. And just to show you how it wasn't a fluke, I'm gonna kill even more crabs, this time without the use of that. Whack her in the shell a little bit just to get her aggro. Oh, she was a tough cookie, wasn't she? But yep, <laughs> as easy as that. Just hold down the trigger and, well, it's easy when it's a My Alert Queen because they're so huge, but you get what I mean. So I don't think I've got a whole lot more to say about this weapon or the handmade in general, other than this is a, a fantastic legendary effect um, lineup for this. The Rapid, <laughs> or I guess I could call it the Rapid, because like I said before, it's the same sort of thing. Yeah, the Rapid Anti-Armor thing is working extremely well. Did you just get a squad spawn? I didn't know there was squad play like that for the bats in Fallout 76. Hang on, I should probably worry about the one who's actually attacking me. Nah, whatever. Ooh, that, that acid really hurts now, doesn't it? That's okay, you're only fueling my adrenal reaction. Damn it, I hope he was going to face plant into the ground, seeing as he didn't finish his landing animation. Might as well aggro this one, just to see what he's all about. Almost killed him there. Just finish him off in bats, because I can't be bothered aiming. And we are done with yet another two Scorch Beasts, so... If you want to play this game in easy mode, obviously a Stealth Commando build is going to do you well. Watch this. Boom. Ha ha ha! I love doing that. You you go back to the hole which you came out of, you fucking bastard. So if you'd like to see this thing in your game, um, you better ask uh, BRB Cats on Fire. She's actually my server manager. She does some great work. I don't usually um, talk about her, but I am so grateful for all the work she puts in. This is your moment. This is your gun, BRB. So 
smash that big motherfucking like button for BRB, because she's really the backbone of the Captain Noob Discord now. She's doing some great work. She's set up all of these bots. All of our security measures are good. Basically, under her... Under her... Um, server management, I think that the Captain Noob server will last a lot longer this time, which is awesome! So yeah, be sure to join in that, and also thank you very much for allowing me to use such a weapon. I'm sorry it's taken me so goddamn long to do it, I was waiting for a, you know, a break between handmaids because I don't want to do the same weapon all the time, it gets bored and I run out of things to talk about, but uh, yeah. A great weapon. Thank you very much for letting me use this. I'll be sending this back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Okay, just one more. Ha! Also, there's adrenaline at full.